Okay, so the show is about to begin. We just came out depressed after the PlayStation conference, so we tried to recover a little bit. But um, what's going to happen is um, we're going to do all. We're going to go through all our predictions and everything on the late night gaming show, our next late night gaming show, and the re the winner of E3 will be revealed. Will it be Mike? Will it be me? Or will Jody come in second because she can't actually win now? Only time will tell. But um, go ahead and press play, Jody, when you're ready. Oh, please, Nintendo, save RE3. Please save RE3. I'm going to put the light on because uh, I got way too excited. There we go. We can see each other now. Yay! Oh, one minute 30 to go. This actually might be a little bit behind that, Jody, because uh, you press pause. Uh, I don't mind, does it? No. I'm just too excited. Watch it on YouTube. It stays on YouTube. So, um, what I'm wanting, I don't think we'll see it, but I think we'll get a bit of Metroid gameplay. I'd love to, but I don't think that's going to happen. The best things that they can give me right now, give me Fallout 4. That's not going to happen, but give me Fallout 4. Give me a Metroid Prime trilogy that's playable in like a week or even today. I'm saying give me for Fortnite. I'm not as bothered about Fortnite, but give me, I am. Give, give me let me have a drop today. Um, I'll play it. I'll give it a go. I'm at, at Fortnite's all right, but I don't need it. Um, those are those are like some of the main things that I'm wanting immediately. I'd love an Animal Crossing. Um, I'd I'd love to see that Star Fox thing again from the Ubisoft conference. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, anything else? Anything you want to see, Jody? Quickly before we start, we've got I twenty just seconds. I want to see Fortnite. <laughs> no, I'd love to just see. If they just tease for Spiral to come to it. Oh. That'd be a good. Yeah, and then of course we're seeing loads of Smash Brothers stuff, so in 10 yeah. seconds we could be witnessing the new Smash Brothers. What's that, Cross? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is crossing fire? <laughs> uh, you can check that, uh, Jody's reaction to uh, Maybe video. We'll start with an 18. Oh no, it's not. The whole thing's an 18. It's just saying that there's 18. <gasps> What's about it? Stop. <laughs> I'm not getting them feelings. Buying it. <laughs> yeah, I'm only passive, but I don't know what it is. Um. <laughs> I literally thought the last Nintendo Direct was weird, but this one's. Was weird? Well, not weird, but strange. It was. It was, like, it was slightly above average. <laughs> you were going to say boss then? <laughs> yeah, then I realised, yeah, I, I remember it wasn't actually amazing. Um, the Smash Brothers reveal saved it. I am not going to lie. I mean, I don't know what this is. Explosions, innit? I mean, I mean, I won't be buying it. Sorry, Nintendo. You might have got me to have a Switch, but not uh... It's an odd game to start with, that's what I'm going to say. Well, they had picking noses on last one. Oh. <laughs> Pulling hairs out of your nose. Why did it just end? Oh my god. And that's our Nintendo E3. Uh, <laughs> Coming 2019. What was that? I don't even know what it was. Shinriki, 3564年第107代アーケディア法王ナダリアは軍事大国シアへと遠征軍を派兵一夜にしてその首都オメロパは陥落しアルスモロトモ雲海の底深くへと沈んでいったその影にはたった一人のプレイト天の聖杯滅の存在だった次のターゲットはいいように気づいてるんじゃないか 
<laughs> oh no, I wasn't being right. It's um. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Wow. Um, I really need to play this game more. I keep getting to a point and just stopping. I need to get past it because it's it is amazing. I don't know if you want to play it. I don't know if you want to play it. I don't know if you want to play it. I don't know if you want to play This game really needed a second chance because, like, it came out. You remember when I talked about that the December time is the worst time? Yeah, this came out in December and it just got overshadowed. They're not even overshadowed, there's just nothing comes out in December. And it just, you know what I mean, didn't get the caution it needed at the So I hope whatever this is, it's gonna get more and more hard because it totally doesn't matter. Tana, the golden country. September 2018. When we launched Nintendo Switch, our vision was a home system we could play together oh. anytime, anywhere. Two detachable Joy-Con controllers, countless play possibilities. From day one, all of you have shown the world what that means. Whether playing at home, or on the go, from low to on high. Where will Nintendo Switch take you next? To a smashing invitational cheered by fans and challengers? Oh, or on a journey through verdant fields and viridian cities in a timeless viridian quest cities. to catch them all? Huh? To catch them all, Tim? This is Pokemon. This is well Pokemon. Oh, he's playing it. Oh, yes, I'm so happy they're showing it. They let's don't usually bring it like this. Pokemon, let's go Eevee. A grand new Pokemon adventure. It is so pretty. Where your partner, Pikachu or Eevee, is always by your side. Add the transformative power of Nintendo Switch, and you can play as you like, anywhere you like, or for the first time in this series, catch or battle Pokemon on one system with a friend. You can even transfer a Pokemon into the game from Pokemon Go. No! This is a Pokeball Plus. It looks a bit small. You can use it like a Joy-Con controller with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Or I feel like how small they are before like Ash presses the button. You can put a Pokemon up. into the Pokeball Plus, then bring it with you. It sounds like there's already one inside. It's the mythical Pokemon Mew. Mew comes There's no way Mew stay in the ball. Pokemon I'm just saying. And can join you on your journey through the game. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, and the Pokeball Plus will be available on November 16th. Discover new friends and challenges as you it's explore. Pre I'm disappointed that world. it's not. It, I wherever thought there was a go, chance they were putting real you cries want, in the Pokemon, and we're still getting like. Now, let's check out what something we had on the game, boy. I'm like, it's time to update, guys. Like. I don't get all the excuses. The anime's literally got okay. voices for every single one. Just rip them off. Yeah. All right. He's desperate. Don't even think about it. <laughs> all or nothing. Mario Party! Super Mario Party. Super Mario Party. That's what me. makes super. it super. I hope they've gone back to what the older ones like because the new ones have been atrocious. That's gonna go too fast. Let's do it this way. Tim. We need to have like some angles. Tim. This was actually in. There was a patent put for this kind of thing where you put them next to each other. Oh my gosh. Tim, we can do that. I'm so happy you own a Switch right now. <laughs> Are you guys ready to do this? Alright, hang on this one. Fasten it so. Okay. Alright, ready? Yeah. Oh yes, they took out the stupid vehicle thing. Oh, this looks so good, Jody. Horse racing confirmed. Oh 
<laughs> that looks so good. October oh, fifth. Long ago, the divine Seros received a revelation from the goddess, a gift to help guide the lost. Now. The goddess watches over Fodland I thought this was from her else kingdom there, above. Had a heart attack. <laughs> as the mother of all life, the arbiter of every soul. This could be Fire Emblem, which desperately needs to be shown. Oh, this is exactly what people wanted. It wasn't even that difficult for him to do it. They've done it. It's time to measure your worth as an instructor. This would be great at the end of August. That'd be a great place to put this. Such a brutal, irrational world we live in. Some believe the crests, tokens of the goddess's power, are necessary to maintain order. But they're wrong, teacher. The crests are to blame. Some people are going to get upset about this because it looks quite different to the normal fire emblem. But it's one of them where it just it needed to change, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. What are you sing along then to the song? Dare to walk this path with me? One misstep and we fall to our ruin. So take your first step. It's now or never. I will return that was me here watching someday. The PlayStation conference. <laughs> <laughs> Forget me. And now there's a lot of people watching the PlayStation conference. Spring 2019. What? Here we go! <laughs> Confirm. Come on. Just say it's ready now. That would be. I don't think they will do that because Paladins is out today and I feel like they would just destroy this game, that game, if it came out today. I think, it wouldn't surprise me if it, it wouldn't surprise me if it's like coming out in two weeks, getting hot in the beta or something, I don't know. I hope it's today, though. I feel it'll be so well on on the Switch as well. I really hope it's got the the, the story mode though. Today. Yay! Ten o'clock UK time. Ah, oh, we can do that. I can't wait to drop off that. the battle bus. And meet some of you on the battle. I'm really sad Fortnite. that it's not got the save the world thing. I feel like I've Switch, actually would have played on You can Switch. have the complete battle royale. Well, I didn't say it didn't, did it? Whether playing together online with friends in the same room or around the world. Available at 10 a.m. Pacific time today. Nintendo Switch, a home console where you can mm. access a full I really would have liked that to have been in it. I think I would have played that a lot. A wealth of groundbreaking games from our independent Disappointed. A little bit. Your support for indie games on Nintendo Switch has been inspiring. And to all of you, as well as all of the developers behind these rich and varied experiences, from all of us here at Nintendo, thank you. Let's pull back the curtain on I a few more, like the <laughs> including two we're showing for the first time here today. Aspiring chefs oh, ready to yeah, that was in the lead. pots and cutting boards in Overcooked 2. A sequel that's brimming with more recipes, characters, kitchens, and white knuckle mayhem. Prepare for the ultimate cook-off like with the new features was, like the ability right. to ingredients, kitchens that can change on the fly, and what? with Nintendo Switch, the opportunity to bake, barbecue, I or broil sorry with another slow down there. in wireless, local, and online play. To save the world from about. clumsy cooking, when Team 17's frantic food juggler must have sold arrives very well on August on 7th, the switch for them to be hop on a snail, yeah. hoard berries, or August wipe out the enemy's other. queen to claim victory in Killer Queen Black. Redesigned from the ground up 
Liquid Bit and Bumble Bear Games, acclaimed arcade extravaganza that became a multiplayer phenomenon, is coming to Nintendo Switch. And for the first time on console, two teams of up to four each it can square like off in exciting battles. Play it first uh, on Nintendo Switch powerful. later this year. <laughs> and finally, venture through the mysterious to subterranean quick. landscapes of a vast, forgotten kingdom in Teen Cherry's Hollow Knight. An action adventure filled with gripping combat and haunting secrets. Hand-drawn characters and sublime scenery abound in this sweeping platformer that offers endless hours of intricate exploration. We revealed earlier this year that Hollow Knight was coming to Nintendo Switch, and I'm pleased to announce that the game, packed with all the previous downloadable content, is available on the Nintendo eShop starting today. That's These are just today. a few of the terrific indie games you can play in the months ahead. After this presentation, stay tuned for Nintendo Treehouse Live. Streaming right from the E3 show floor. It certainly will be today, Nintendo I tell you. Game experts will give you a closer look at some of these games. I feel like more. this guy, though. And I personally just, cannot wait to watch. Play as in oh, he does. Reggie's awesome. Metal does it? Don't this the Reggie. World Reggie's a legend. And Super Smash he started with the Invitational um... 2018. <laughs> the action starts immediately following Nintendo Treehouse Live. I can't remember how about the 21st revealed himself a game. as I know fans one of the have been looking forward to. This little save is just awesome. Travel yes! From Square Enix is coming exclusively for Nintendo Switch on July 13th. And you can download a brand new demo for the game from the Nintendo eShop on June 14th. Now, let's take another action-packed look at some more experiences coming soon to Nintendo Switch. That's how a lot of the smaller games should have been shown off of the Xbox One. Just yeah. dead quick. Starlink! <laughs> it's so good! I'm not, I'm not writing all these down. Mario Minecraft? Is that what you're saying? Oh yeah, when you get Minecraft on Switch, you get the Nintendo map, the, the Mario mashup pack, and it's amazing. No. Yes. No. A hot pixel. Yeah, I was supposed to like. And did you see? Um, did you see just dance that? Yeah. That's the length that should have been shown. Yeah. <laughs> Not a full-on panda in a marching band <laughs> outfit. Hey! hey it's crash. Can't wait for that. To be Ark Survive is coming out on it. That's a that's pretty cool. Paladins available Ooh. now. No, it's not. It's not a checked. You're lying. <laughs> it should have been out today. There's Fallout Shelter. Dark Souls Remastered should have been out already, <laughs> Jody. Oh my gosh. Some of these are like massive games that they could easily spend 20 minutes on if they wanted to. So I'm like, yeah, they've got what else much. are we seeing? Yeah. <laughs> If it's not in the um, recent ones, it's not that. Oh, thank goodness they're not showing more Mario Tennis. I thought they were going to have a whole section on that and it's going to make me sad. Still playing. Hello. Minasan, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Nintendo no Takahashi desu. Ikaga deshita deshou ka? Kono goro wa chotto shita machi jikan ga areba Nintendo Switch o kaban kara tori dashi. 遊んでいただいている光景を見かけるようになりました。それを見るたびに少し顔が緩んでしまいます。任天堂は新鮮で驚きのあるユニークなソフトを開発していますが、多くのソフトメーカーさんにもスイッチ向けソフトを開発いただ
空の桜井正宏です。ニコルが<笑> そこで早速ですが、今作におけるファイターメイの横に出ている数字は今までのスマブラシリーズで登場した順番を表しています。それではご覧ください。Yahoo! <笑> Samus. Oh, yeah. Kirby. I don't know what the. Oh, I, I missed what the numbers meant. Why is it 14? 14 characters. Oh, that's Breath of the Wild Link. Maybe it's just uh, 14 stages. I don't No, it's not. It, I don't know. It's, it corresponds to the character, but I don't know. Maybe it was the order they actually came to Smash Bros. Sonic's back in it. It's Pikachu. Ice Climbers are back. Some people got upset because they weren't in the last one. We've got Inklings confirmed. Falcon punch we were talking about. <gasps> Why did they just have the Pokemon uh, trainer? Yeah, 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 he's back. Why did they just have the um gym instructor on there? Oh, because she's a cat. Bit weird character in it. Gotta bring Marla. Cloud's back! Oh that was the one I was scared of, wouldn't be back. Oh that's so good. And Snake's back as well? Everyone is here. Oh my gosh. Oh, bringing, that's so cute. They're bringing in every single character that's been in Smash Brothers. Are you joking? That's like mind blowing. That is so good if that's true. So usually when Smash Brothers is announced, you have like two months of character reveals, and they kind of go, nah, they're just all there. <laughs> Sack you. Oh my god. Right now, all of us will be crying. Crying to real tears. I I'm not as bad, but... I feel like the camera wasn't on <laughs> and you were sat alone, there would be tears. <laughs> Wolf's in it? I don't think he's ever been in it. Oh, my gosh. What? Everyone's getting in it? Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. They are nailing this generation. Yoshi Egg! Absolutely nailing I love it. Yoshi. He's probably one of my favourite characters from Nintendo. That. Can I have that artwork on a poster, please? Please? <laughs> Could imagine that wrapping around your room. Oh. My. Gosh. That's insane. Mike can't not get a switch now. It has to happen. They, him and Andy love. I like, like love it. Oh my gosh. Oh my 
最初から使えるファイターは初代六四番並みに少ないかもしれません。Oh my gosh, that is going to be so fun to unlock everybody. You've got what's the problem? You've got what's the problem? It would be pretty sick if it was. Mate, you just unleashed like all the characters for Mario Kart Farm earlier just by putting them things on. I, I think they're going to put an amiibo section in this. I'd love for them to put every stage that there's ever been involved. That would be crazy. Scale is not going to be the same. The new ones are going to be the same. The new ones are going to be the same. The new ones are going to be the same. The new ones are going to be the same. The new ones are going to be the same. The new ones are going to be the same. The new ones are going to be the same. The new ones are going to be the same. The new ones are going to be the same. The new ones are going to be the same. The new ones are going to be the same. 最後の切り札は古代兵装の弓矢にしています。2P カラーで息吹の勇者服も選べます。ご無沙汰登場ですが、2人で1人のアイスクライマーが帰ってきました。7を倒されたらピンチなので仲良くしましょう。アイクはスマブラ X ではいわゆる総演版、スマブラ4では赤月版でしたが。今回は両方使えます。声についてはこっそりわずかな演じ分けもしております。Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. ピカチュウ。尻尾がハート型のメスのピカチュウが入りました。実はマスクドピカチュウもメスです。Did you know that Pikachu Libre is a girl? デザインはスターフォックスゼロ風に一新したか。最後に切り札が入りました。今回の最後の切り札は全員スピーディーに終わるようにしています。Don't you surprise me. Half the time you just make it stuff up, but I believe you on that occasion. パルコ版の切り札は高卒が取れたフォックスとは異なり入り乱れて飛んでいます。ランドマスターは廃止しました。一対一で戦っている時に限りますが、原作同様相手の方向を向きっぱなしになるようにしました。コマンド暴発が減りますね。ため系の技は空中でもためることができるようにしました。ジャンプや回避でキャンセルできますが、総合の隙が生まれます。マーベラスコンビネーションがかなりスピーディーになり、モリモリつながります。ロイやルキナも同じ。実は久しぶりに声を新録しています。極めて熱いユーザーリクエストを受けていたスネーク、念願からっての参戦です。シリーズ登場も10年ぶりで、いろんなファイターと夢の対決を楽しめるようになりました。もちろんシャドウモセストも復活です。最後の切り札は金網デスマッチ風でミサイル放射からのジェットハンマーアタックにしました。これまたスマブラデラックスからの復活ファイターです。電撃は自らにもダメージを与えるので注意です。ブレスオブザワイルドのゼルダは戦闘向きではないので、神々のトライフォースのデザインにしてみました。ベイジンを楽しく仕上げるのは難しいのですが、今回は元気があって可愛い仕上がりにしています。最後の切り札は知恵のトライフォースという封印技になります。スーパーソニックはそのイメージ以上のスーパースピードにしました。とにかく速い。パックマンもなぜか負けじとスピードアップ。端から端へループするのがそれらしいですね。ゼニガメ不思議そうリザードンを連れポケモントレーナーも帰ってきました。戦闘中にポケモンの切り替えができますが。切り替えなくてもデメリットはありません。ずっと同じポケモンを使っていても OK です。なお、今回は女の子トレーナーも選べるようにしました。ファルコンに限ったことではないですが、1対1における強力な打撃にはスロー演出がかかります。ちなみに指折りのアクシデントステージ、ビッグブルーが復活します。今回も
ファイナルファンタジー7オリジナルとファイナルファンタジー7アドベントチルドレンの2種類から選べます画面下方にリミットゲージを常に表示するようにしました他にもいくつかのファイターに専用表示を増やしています例えばサンダーソードや魔導書の寿命が表示されるようにしましたこちらはアイテムや飛び道具を拾っていることが分かるようにしていますなお村人は男女8人のパターンがあります疑惑クッパの攻撃の仕方がだいぶ変わりました、oh、ーシーアイランドのクッパでございますね、oh ゲームウォッチの各種攻撃を使いますが見た目を原作寄りにしましたより激しく変化を楽しめますねスマブラデラックス以来の参戦になりますリンク3人揃い踏みするのは初めてですねロンロン牛乳10年ぶりの登場ウルフですデザインはゼロをベースに一新各使用素もだいぶ変わっていますこの人の丸さはいつも変わらないですねでもストーン能力に一ネタ入れました全員分のコピー能力があるからファイターが増えると作るのが大変ですモナドアートの切り替えは今までボタンで送っていましたがボタンを押しっぱなしでダイレクトに選べるようにしましたさっと切り替えられて便利フィオルンも登場ですガロンドロフは特に人気がある時のオカリナ時代のデザインで最高輪です魔王ガノンに変身しますよミーファイターは刀身を少し上げました格闘タイプ剣術タイプ射撃タイプの3種類がありますがそれぞれアクションを強化していますまた声を12種の中から選ぶことができますそして今回はネット対戦に対応しようと考えています切り札は前作では3種の神器でしたが今回は光の戦車に登場しますゼロスーツサムスの切り札は前作はコックピット視点でしたが今回はサムスのパワードスーツをまとってのレーザー照射となりますダメージを加えられると頭の風防にひびが入るようにしましたすぐに治りますベヨネッタ1と2のコスチュームがありますお好みでよく聞くと銃の発射音なども少し違いますゲストとしてあのロダンが出演しますアシストフィギュアです最後の切り札のワリオマンを大きく変えました変身して普通の攻撃をする切り札は全面撤廃しています最後の切り札は以前のタルコンガではなくジャングルビート的な連続パンチを行うようにしましたドンキーコングに限りませんが表情もより豊かになっていますマイガッチあれも一緒に行くよリアマックによるマッシュ切り札は全て時短しています今回はポーラとプーが応援してくれますなおジェフはアシストフィギュアとして続投です It's not in order. 同じくリュカにはクマトラとボニーが応援してくれます何にも変わっていないようでいて顔が結構変わっていますいいのかなと思ったけど原作スタッフ側の要望に基づいてみました実はロックマンのステージは前作 Wii U 版 3DS 版で違うギミックを用意していたのですが統合しましたまた最後の切り札ではブルースフォルテが支援してくれます必殺技は各1種類に絞りました
北必殺技は反射板とカウンターを兼ねています脊椎の部分にゲージがつきましたこれはホバーの残り燃料を表していますこれらの数字の横にラッシュがついていましたねこれは本的な体力が他ファイターを残しているものなので少し圧巻を受けてラッシュファイターとしています一人だけ新しいダッシュファイターをご紹介しましょうピーチのダッシュファイターとしてデイジー参戦です使用はおおむねピーチと同じですがキャラクター性はだいぶ異なるのでより楽しめることと思います好みで選んでください so you have Peach is a character, but it's almost like Daisy's like a skin on it.、Yeah. So it's like, it's like a new character, but it's not the same. Okay. Here's the new fighter. Here's the new fighter. I thought they were Peach. Inkling! Inkling! Here's the new Inkling. If you want to use the paint, 相手が普段より大きくダメージを受けるようになりますスプラッシュ攻撃や必殺技で一部の武器を使えますスプラッシューターのほかスプラッシュボムローラー切り札ではメガホンレーザーを使用しますインクが切れることもあるのでシールド中に B ボタンで補充しましょうなおガールだけではなくボーイも選べますインクリングはファッショナブル8種類分のコスチュームはそれぞれ別ですそれぞれでインクの色も異なり配線は実にカラフルですねところでアシストフィギュアに塩カラーズも追加しましたライブにより画面がどんどん近づいてきますということはミスになる範囲が狭まるんですよね<笑>アシストフィギュアの話題が出たので少し触れたいと思いますこれは支援攻撃してくれるキャラクターです今回のアシストフィギュアはなんと戦ってダメージを与えると撃墜できるようにしましたちゃんと得点も入りますただし攻撃が通るものに限りますもしかしたら意外なゲストが参戦するかもこの人はステージも復活ステージを中心に数多くのステージがありますパッと集まって遊ぶ場合に一巡させるのも大変なことでしょうグラフィックもだいぶ強化されていますさまざまなゲームから織りなすステージの一部をご紹介しましょうあ、ナイス
それと全ステージを戦場化終点化できるようにしましたすべてのステージが浮島化しています広さや地形に違いはないのでお好みのゲームシリーズの音楽や背景で遊ぶことができます前作にはなかった新テクニックをちょっとだけご紹介しておきます空中回避は少し動けるようにしました復帰に役立てることもできますただし地上を含めて回避を使いすぎると隙が大きく無敵時間が短くなっていきます A ボタンプラスジャンプボタンの同乗しで小ジャンプ攻撃をいつでも出せるようにしましたなお AB でスマッシュ攻撃を出せるのは前作と同じですジャストシールドはシールドボタンを離した時に出ます今までは大きなリスクもなく使えていましたがこれからはちゃんと狙う必要があります1対1の時は他人数戦の時より受けるダメージ量を大きくしました対戦のテンポ感が上がると思いますタイム制において最も得点を取っているファイターはたまに光ります放っておくと負けちゃいますよスイッチ版のスマブラ制作にあたり発されたものがあります<笑>スイッチ用のゲームキューブコントローラー発売決定ですこれが手放せない人は多いことでしょうそれと前作対応のアミーボは全て使えますキャラクターが同じならスマブラシリーズ以外のアミーボも対応させていきますアミーボはフィギュアフレイヤー FP として戦い強くなります前作の FP を引き継ぐことも可能です actually,、like, could, like, お祭りの時期がまたやってきます、so、発売できるその日まで、like, so、スタッフ一同頑張って開発していきますのでよろしくお願いしますファイターが総出演することを最大の目標にしているので新しいファイター追加についてはあんまり期待してほしくないなと思っていますがこんな映像を用意しましたどうぞあああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああ Pulse alarm. He's still there though, s o m e t h i n g Pulse alarm. That was weird. Really... Red Leather Dragon. Is that going to be a playable character? Why did you just not notice that Mario and the, the other man got took out? Oh, look, Mario's arm is up. Oh my gosh, that's such a weird playable character. I honestly thought. I thought we'll get a big man trying to ask me when I don't know what's going on. Still cool though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Clearly, it's unlimited, guys. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, dyslexia. Doesn't, doesn't work very well. Now. <laughs> you cry if it was. It's not far off, though. Oh, seven. Wait a second. That's is that December. Our, is that, 
Is that... Or, no, it wouldn't be next month, would it? No, it's in December. No, but I'm just mean I don't know if that's in the US format or our format, because if it's the US format, they do months first. It goes month, day, year. I think they'll go by US. But, but then I don't know, that's what I mean, I don't know if we've got a slightly different street. Well, we would do, because it's... The, oh, no, it'd be 12th, 12th December. 7th of December, sorry. Okay, so we've got Nintendo Treehouse that we're going to have to watch. Um, so while I'm Jody's getting that up... Uh, yeah, but that's not going to be... We're not going to do a whole thing on that. I'm just going to get it up. But um, just to go through that, um, I would say that was about a 60%, to be honest. I may have come across like I was way more excited. I'm just excited in general. We're just going to leave this on the background uh, while... Um, oh, mind you, it's on. Oh, no, it is. Uh, so we'll just leave this on in the background in case anything happens. But we'll just chat over it because I'll just be talking a lot. Yeah. Um, so we got the weird mech game at the beginning. Didn't yeah. care about that. Didn't even know what it was. We got... Um, it looked like new DLC for Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I'm really happy that game's getting more support. I hope more people get involved in that. Pokemon, let's go. Mr. Yes! Uh, yes! November 16th. Can't wait for that. Super Mario Party looked amazing. Yeah. I can't wait for that. October 5th. I've um, got a new Fire Emblem, which is 2019. Now, the reason that's really naughty is because... Um, it's because they said last year, the Switch, they were like, Oh, yes, we've got a new Fire Emblem game coming in 2018. We didn't hear about anything for ages, and then now it's like spring 2019. So that's like, that is a year off what they, it's not even just like, oh, start of the year, like spring, which could mean, you know, various months. We've got Fortnite. Jody's excited about that. I'm like, okay. I think if that had come out like a, a couple of months ago, I would have been like, but now I'm just kind of, I think there's been so many leaks and everything, I'm just kind of like, Fortnite, okay. It's on everything now, anyway. Uh, jump into, um, some more specific details, Sorry. But I mean, I think it's going to be the place... I'm not going to play it on anything else other than the Switch now. I'm only going to play it on the Switch now. I think that's the best place. I am really disappointed that it doesn't have Save the World on it, though. Because I, w I, I know it's not a mode that a lot of people play now, but I would have played that a lot on that. I would have liked that sort of... Because you can play that in single player, can't you? I would have loved that like little single player experience. I would have played it way more. But now I'm just kind of like... That's you drive on your own. Not all the time. Obviously, if you, pl you couldn't play normal Fortnite on your own, because that's... <laughs> that's uh, 100 people you need. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that was... So that was, that was like a semi-excited, semi-disappointing thing for me. Uh, we got Overcooked 2. That looked cool. And me and my wife played a ton of Overcooked. We actually got into a few arguments over Overcooked. Um, we overcooked ourselves, I would say. Yeah. We all enjoyed that. Um, <laughs> and then we got... I couldn't write them all down because they just like there was just so many games one after each other, I couldn't keep up. But there was something called Killer Queen, something or other. I didn't catch it all. I don't even remember what that was about. Um, there was Hollow Knight, which is available today. So that's two games. There was also Paladins, which was supposed to come out today, which is coming out today, which I don't understand why it's not in the eShop, but it's out today anyway. So there's three games just dropped today. That's pretty cool. Um, one of which is free. One of them will eventually be free, um, which is Paladins. Uh, we've got a quick trailer for Octopath Traveler. It looks amazing. Starlink. Yes. Yes. Fox McCloud's in that. That looked awesome. And then we just got the biggest long thing I've ever seen, which was uh, around Smash Brothers Ultimate. And... That is going to be incredible. The only thing I would have liked a bit more, I would have liked, well, we're seeing here now, actually, it doesn't look like an incredible amount of stages. I would have liked that. It would have been so cool to have had every stage out of it. I know that's a lot to ask, but that would have been so cool. So overall, like, this is the only thing, like, big games, like, games that I think was worthy of an E3 thing was probably Pokemon Let's Go, Super Mario Party, Fire Emblem, Fortnite, um, maybe Overcooked 2, Smash Brothers. So there's a, there's a fair amount there. But, um, but yeah, it, it, it didn't like blow my mind. And I think a lot of the stuff, and I think this is why I got, I wasn't as excited for this in the end because that leak showed, you know, like a picture of sort of the running order yeah. and it just didn't look like it was like mental games and people were like Metroid gameplay, which I, did, I never thought there was going to be Metroid gameplay here. I just didn't. Um, I think that game's like a long way out um, and things like that. But the thing that I'm think like, so the, the online service starts in September and other than this, 
So I'm like, what are the big games that launched alongside that? There's aren't anything. No. So I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm like, if, if you're not mad into Splatoon or Mario Kart or this, there's, like, why would you want to pay for online? That's the thing, other than the, the free games that you get. So I think that's a concern unless they've got more of the sleeves that we don't know about. But Jody, how did you find that conference? Well, I thought it was good. Video. I mean... Like, uh, in terms of his character it was better style, than Sony. Uh, <laughs> Boy, it was. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not a massive Nintendo fan. But you, you're getting there. But, well, I'm not being massive. <laughs> I, I mean, that, you're more excited about that than me. Yeah, I'm more excited cost. for Fortnite because I've played it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this, like... And now he drags other the die-hard Nintendo fans yeah. probably would have been crying. Mm. It does sell quite... It, it does sell really good, though, because it's obviously got, like... It's got Pokemon in there. It's got Mario yeah, yeah. in there. It's got that, like... So I even mean, it's people... it's the perfect game for everyone, really. Yeah, and that's the thing. And the, it really is the perfect game for everyone because you can be, like, amazing at this game or rubbish at this game and you'll still have a good time. It's not like you're just going to... Like, you can sometimes win just by like mashing buttons you know what i mean but you won't win all the time obviously yeah. but like you can get really good at it and get really skillful like if you go online you'll probably get destroyed that like everybody gets because <laughs> it's just like pros on there but um yeah it's just such a good party game i think you've played it with us before yeah and it's just such a good laugh and everything and i've i can't even remember the amount of nights that we just sat there and just played through smash just loved it so <clears throat> yeah i hope there's a lot of good single player content there as well like there has been in the past i'm sure it will be you can't call it ultimate and then not make it ultimate no. so overall yeah like i said for me it's around 60 percent it didn't have any like crazy announcements um, I think there's a few. It's definitely a weaker year than last year, but I don't think they're ever going to be able to make up <laughs> get a year like last year. You know, I mean, Mario Odyssey, Zelda, things yeah, like that. But yeah, overall, really good. So um, we're not going to go through the point system right now for who won this conference. We're going to do that on our next late night gaming show, which won't be on this week. On it won't be on this Monday coming. It'll be on the Monday after that because I think we need a break after uh, doing do. like five days straight. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. I am a die-hard Nintendo fan and I'm not like crying, so I'm sure there'll be people on there overreacting, but it was good. It was good. Thanks for joining us, um, and we can't wait for next year's E3. It's going to be awesome, isn't it? I'm sure it, it will be. We'll already make the plans, but blatantly not. Um, so enjoy the rest of E3. There's loads of coverage on tons of other places. I have no idea why Xbox just popped up behind me. Um, was that actually on the... No. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows what you're talking about, Tim. Apart um, from you. So yeah, um, so make sure you check out. If you haven't watched our other streams, please check that out. And um, they're all up there still from all the other conferences, bar the PC one because oh. we had so much trouble with it. Yeah, and it's so funny that like out of copyright issues, the only ones that we've had an issue with is PC. <laughs> or it could be this one by the time it goes up. But anyway, yes, yeah, so check out the videos, and um, we've got loads of we've got loads of post show stuff. So check out like Mike was here and a lot of it as well. You can see that, and then of course check out uh, the late night gaming show, which I will give you the date for now. So there's no excuses from anybody, Jody. If you don't turn up, I'm going to be upset. Uh, the 25th of June will be your time to come and watch the Late Night Gaming Show, episode 22. So thanks for joining us, and we will see you very, very soon. Enjoy the rest of your E3. Sounds good. I don't think you're going to stop getting beaten up, but you know, <laughs> well, yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> じゃあとりあえずサムスとリドリーですね。少し解説を交えながらお話をしたいと思います。All right, got Samus and Ridley, and I'll do some commentating while we're battling.